Hello, friendos. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Breath of the Wild, where I think we uh, we took a picture of Pura. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Old landscape photos. So, basically what happened was, uh, during their travels, Link and Zelda took uh, photos. Well, I guess it was more Zelda that took photos of... Uh, Uh, of landscapes that they visited. Uh, sorry, I, I was reading. Just to make sure that I'm not missing anything, any vital information, which really isn't that big of a deal. But uh, right after this, we'll uh, we'll do the. Uh, the Guardian Amiibo, I'll have to go grab it from the other side of the room, but uh, definitely want to do that for you and show you different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell of Evil. Robbie's Research. Slated for upgrades. Uh, those both ended up uh, hmm. Oh yeah, isn't there a uh, core oak up there? I I'm trying to remember if there is or not. We'll definitely go up and see. Actually, I think I, I... I don't know if I can actually... Ah, here we go. There is a core oak up here. I knew it. Normally, if I think there's one up there, there normally is. Geronimo! Animist. Damn. Alright, so, now, to get our memories back, the best way to do this is to find the nearest one. Well, first we want to go back to Kakariko. Which, I could just fast travel there, but what's the fun in that, you know? There's no fun in just, you know, getting those fast travel points and then fast traveling to and from. Just gonna trot along, guys. Don't worry about me. That's where you can dye your clothes, by the way. Alright, I gotta wait till I'm out of the village so I can go back to, uh, I guess, uh, a full gallop. Is it a full gallop or is it a full run? Out of the way, Thad. 
And you too, nameless guy. Merchant. Alright, where are we headed? Oh yeah, that's right, we're headed back to Kakariko. We're headed back to Kakariko so we can talk to that artist. And he'll tell us where one of the, uh, where one of the photos was taken. It's not necessarily the one that we're going to go to, because there are certain ones that, uh, have a lot of um, enemies around. And I think the one that in Kakariko is where he is where he sends us is one of the big ones. I still absolutely love this uh, piano music that plays while you're running at a full gallop, I guess. If you're wondering why I'm not, you know, spurring the horse, it's because, for one, it really doesn't help that much. Uh, it's harder to steer, mainly. Cause if you if you watch. She kind of doesn't really follow the uh, path. And everybody is like, oh god, don't run me over. There's Fort Hetty now. There's an iron shroom. Hiya! We'll actually do a full run past those enemies. That's the one thing that I really do like about this game is because the weapons uh, break so often, you have to choose your battles. And that to me is always a good thing. Because choosing my battles is, uh, number one, a sign of a good game because, you know, Realistically, you're not going to fight everything that comes your way. Oh, hush. I'm going to soothe her a little bit and just make her feel better. Because everybody loves a pony. By the way, there's a um, a fairy fountain up here if you've never really uh, done a whole lot of the side quests. Uh, I highly recommend that you get these fairy fountains active. Uh, there's one in Kakariko. There's one outside of... Uh, of... Uh, the Grudo Village. Not, not, not the Grudo Village, the... Uh, It's like one of the southernmost points of the map. It's like right in this area, right around here. Excuse me, Baka. Fuck out of my way. So what is this... Uh, mission that I'm on. Or the side quest. Now it's a main quest. Okay. So, I need to talk to Impa either way. <clears throat> Which is good anyway. Any way you slice it. Ooh, the frame rate's dropping a little bit. Oh, 
All right, what's your do? What's your deal, dude? All right. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> All right. I'll follow you there, Pinkango. Pinkango. Picture dude. That's that's where we're going to call him. Morning Diamonds. New clothes, cute outfits. How much money do I have? I know I promised you all the uh, Guardian Amiibo. I'll get to that here in a minute. Ooh, I need to change that weapon. There we go. Rest chicken. Give me the bird egg. Keep going. I wasn't harassing you. Or if I did harass you, uh, that was not what I meant. All right, are you re are you done? Should be along the path that leads to the shrine. Okay, so if you're careful, there's going to be a blue bunny up here somewhere. Right there! You hit it, you get rupees. And so that's why you got to be kind of careful. Also, these fairies. <coughs> fairies will run. Bam. It's always a good a good idea to stock up on fairies. Sometimes it is hard to catch them, though. Because they'll go pretty pretty high up. Also get the blue nightshades. They help with your stealth. Oh, Endura Carrots. I've been looking all over for those. On one of my other playthroughs. All right. Boy. Sure, I'll listen to your story. Kotera. Beautiful spring, but time passed. Fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. This actually harkens back to, like, a link to the past, where you throw rupees in and your fortune will be granted or something like that. One hundred rupees? What are you naked under there? Here. I have the power. And there's a great fairy. Not as terrifying as it used to be. Or maybe even more so, because it's a giant lady. Oh, 
All right, let's. Let's do the Hylian Hood. So, this gets a little weird. Like, the, f the first time you upgrade it, she blows you a kiss. The second time, she kisses her finger and then <clears throat> pokes it on you. The third time, she actually kisses you. And then the fourth time, she takes you into her <clears throat> fountain. And then the screen goes dark. So, I'm going to let you decide on what that means. I'm just going to leave it at that. Yes, enhance my trousers. Enhance my pants! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blow me a kiss. Na, 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 na. And last one. Shit, I'm tired. So today, I, I kind of had to go out and get new boots for work. Because uh, they wouldn't supply me with any boots and they wouldn't give me... They didn't... I need new boots, so because I was waiting on that, uh, they kind of didn't do it. They kind of didn't uh, grant me new boots, so I had to go out and buy some. And while I was out, uh, we stopped by a local game store. And oh shit, I forgot to get a picture. Okay. Here we go. Got to get a picture. I'm gonna get a little closer. Snap. Save. Alright, now that I've gotten that. Alright guys, that's all the time I'm going to take up for today. If you liked it, hit that like button. We'll do the Guardian Amiibo uh, tomorrow. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get all the notifications no matter what we do. On the left is a recommended for you video. Uh, definitely check that out. And on the right is yesterday's video. So give that a clickety, uh, chickity check, a liggity like, and a wiggity watch. Yeah. I'm the whitest boy I know, so me saying that is just, it, <laughs> I don't know what made me start to, to do that with, with that, anyway, <laughs> uh, and in the center is that subscribe button, definitely give that a click, so you know that whenever we decide to do something crazy, because, uh, one of the things that I bought while I was out was a... a board game and it's called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shadows of the Past so basically it's a board game where you you and five other friends no you and four other friends uh, one of them has to play the villain so there's that <clears throat> and the others um, basically play the turtles so and you go through different battle scenarios, uh, so that that's that's really cool. I'd be I'm, we're gonna we're gonna get that together at some point and and maybe film it. Hopefully film it, so that we can uh, kind of show, you know, how cool this game is. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, you stay frosty. Everybody, baby,